I said I'd do it, so on stream today, we are going to cut all of this hair. This is just a pre-stream because I'm going to um, wet the hair now, put some boiling water on it to like flatten it because I'm not gonna be able to cut it like this because it's too bouncy. I'm gonna have to take the bounce out of it and put some water on it, boiling water, and then I'm gonna dry it. So let's do it. Okay, so as you can see, I straightened the hair. There is a lot of hair like crazy amount of this hair. So like I've been needing to cut this wig for so long. The ends of it are so rotten. It was just horrible. It, I wasn't using it because it was just too heavy. There was too much hair. There was nothing I could do with it. So gonna cut it. So the first thing we always do is separate the bottom of the hair. So that's gonna be my first layer on this side. And I always say what you always need is at least three pieces of hair bands. So I'm gonna tie up this side. So just to get the hair out of the way while I cut it, I'm gonna use my clips, clip it over on this side. So this is the bottom layer of the hair, which seriously needs to get a uh, cut. I literally, not out of like lack of trying, I've been trying to find my scissors all morning and I can't find it literally anywhere. So I don't have a scissors. I got a kitchen scissors. I don't recommend this on normal hair because it'll give your hair loads of split ends. So I don't recommend using this on normal hair, but because it's a wig, it doesn't matter. So separate it into pieces. I can literally feel all the manky pieces inside the hair that need to get chopped off. Okay, so the first layer of hair is super long. So I need to cut off loads of the end of the hair. So I'm gonna cut the hair up to here. I think this is a good length for it anyway. Too harsh. Yeah, it's too harsh on your hair using a kitchen knife on your hair, but this isn't my hair to wake, so it doesn't really matter. So just run along your hair. If this was real hair, like human hair, I wouldn't be doing using this, but cause it's not, I don't care. She's only plastic. You can see the layers are starting to go into the hair and that's what you want. I need to get rid of this knot. There's a massive knot here. I mean, knots galore in this, in this. But as long as the knots are taken out, the wig will survive a lot longer. Yes, massive, dirty knot. I had to get it out. Like there was no getting through that hair. That's what happens when hair is super curly. There's so many knots in it. That side is now done. So now we're gonna go to the other side and now you just do the same thing. I want it to be around the same length. I'm gonna end the cuts here on the hair. Do you want raccoon dyed hair? I've seen some people um, doing that now, some old kids doing raccoon dyed hair. Please don't do it. It looks so messy. If you're going for messy, sure, but it looks so messy. Just do like little strips in your hair. It looks so much nicer. I've seen people just putting random like like hits of like raccoon into their hair. And I'm just like, man, no. Just get like a little piece and just do it like that. It looks so much nicer. And it's so much easier to do if it's only a little piece, like doing half your head. How do you, sorry, how do you expect it to like, you know, stay in the same place? That's just my opinion. I just don't think it looks good. Just get like a little piece of your hair, like just like this big and then just do the, uh, raccoon tails into it but make sure that you like separate them properly like you know put like a, p a piece of sellotape here 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 and then leave uh, the color you want into the hair and then when you wash it out it won't be murky because people make that mistake as well it looks so murky and I'm just like okay and don't use hot water. That's another most important thing. Never use hot water if you want the hair to seem vibrant. But make sure the sellotape is on like properly, like super hard so that it won't get the black into it when you're washing it. And then after you're done washing the black out, make sure that the water runs perfect, like, you know, see-through and don't use any hot water. Make sure it's cold water and then when you take off the sellotape foil, the hair should be like not stained. Do you have advice for baby bats? Yes, I do have advice for baby bats. Do not take any from people that are older in the community. They're just jealous, literally. 
if someone comes up to you and be like, you can't wear that with that, just say, you, Catastrophic Clara told me to tell you that. Because I hate people that are like that. That give young kids in the old community a hard time. Where'd you get the wigs? Nah, this wig is so old, I can't remember where I got it. I've literally had it for years. So first thing I do is cut it to the length I want it to, and then I'll go back in and I'll cut layers into it. So it's the right length, and now I'm just gonna cut the layers. Let's see how you're looking. Yes! That's, that's what we want, that's what we want. Okay, so that layer was here, so the next layer I'm gonna start it at the skull. Let's get this lump of hair out, cause it's bad. What does my tattoo symbolize? That I'm a f nerd! This next layer I'm going to be cutting from the shoulder. The layers are getting shorter and shorter as they go up the hair. I call these stair layers. But then, I just wanna make more layers in the front. Looking good so far, thank you. It's so, it's so much lighter. Oh, thank God. Okay, so this one ended here, so this one's gonna end at my jaw. This hair is getting so much lighter by the second. So nice. It's so thick, the higher you go up, the harder it is. There's a joke there! There's a joke there, and I'm choosing to ignore it. Damn, boy, he's thick! Oh, it looks so nice. It looks so nice. It looks so pretty. What? So are you shortening it now? No, this is just how emo hair works. You just put uh, shorter layers the higher up you go. Be careful when you get higher because scissors and all that. God only give you two eyes. Last piece. Few pieces left. Three pieces left. What are you doing with the hair? My best. <laughs> My best. And this one piece that just doesn't want to cooperate. So this is it for today. But I do hope you like it. I do like how it turned out and it's brought new life into the wig. So if you have any questions, please just ask. I'll answer all your questions on the wig.